SARS has adopted an accumulative method of taxing multiple lump sums received and this applies not only to different lump sums received in the same tax year but also where multiple lump sums are received in different tax years. That is why this calculator allows you to enter amounts into the fields for previous tax years. We must add together all lump sums received in the tax year and the accumulated total will be taxed using the set of tax tables applicable to the lump sum which you indicate as having been taken last in the current tax year. You have control over which set of tables the calculator will use and whichever T button you select will decide the set of tax tables to be used. In cases where more than one lump sum was taken in this current tax year, then you must set the T to the set of tables applicable to the lump sum taken last in the tax year. Switching between selecting the new T buttons allows you to switch between tax tables used on the total of all lump sums taken. With different lump sums received maybe in days apart in this current tax year, this may prove useful in matching the figures produced by SARS's choice of tables used. Let's say our taxpayer went on pension from a pension fund and also made a withdrawal of some of his provident fund, preferring to take the rest of the provident fund sometime in a future tax year. Let's say this taxpayer received a code 3915 lump sum of 500,000 Rand from his pension fund and also decided to take a code 3920 withdrawal of 100,000 Rand from the provident fund all in this current tax year. SARS says the amounts are all added together to make a total of 600,000 Rand and the 600,000 Rand total is taxed as per the set of tables applicable to the lump sum taken last. We selected retirement lump sum as being taken last and you can see we indicated it as T so the retirement set of tables will be used. The first 500,000 Rand of the lump sum amount is tax free. The balance of 100,000 Rand is taxed at 18% to give a tax of 18,000 Rand. To work this out, we now have to use the same set of retirement tables to work out the tax on all lump sums taken prior to the lump sum taken last. This means we apply the retirement tables to the 100,000 Rand withdrawal. The first 500,000 Rand of the 100,000 Rand withdrawal amount is tax free, so no tax is levied on the 100,000 Rand. Note that it is completely irrelevant what tax was actually levied on the 100,000 Rand withdrawal when it was paid out. So we have tax of 18,000 Rand on the 600,000 Rand total, less no tax on the 100,000 Rand withdrawal, which means tax of 18,000 Rand due. Here I've, I've superimposed the auto summary screen over this screen, and you can see the total lump sums taken this year, 600,000 Rand, and the tax on that, 18,000 Rand. What about a new case where the taxpayer went on pension last year and received a lump sum of 1.2 million from the pension fund? He then made a pre-retirement withdrawal of 500,000 Rand from his provident fund this year. The same rules apply as SARS's accumulative method of taxing lump sums also extends across tax years. All the lump sums are added together and the set of tables used is the set of tables applicable to the lump sum taken or received last in this current tax year. The lump sum taken last was the 500,000 Rand received as the withdrawal from the provident fund. The total of all lump sums taken this year and in all previous years after 2009 is 1.7 million, taxed as per the withdrawal tables. The tax on 1.7 million is 459,000, less the tax that would or should have been due on the 1.2 million. 
it is irrelevant to the calculation what tax was actually paid on the lump sum taken previously. For the sake of this calculation, we credit the tax due of 459 Rand on the 1.7 million total with the tax on the 1.2 million taxed using the same withdrawal tables. The tax on 1.2 million using the withdrawal tables will be 279,000 Rand. Subtracting the 279,000 from the 459,000 means that the tax due on the 500,000 Rand taken this year is 180,000 Rand. Let's bring over the auto summary screen. And here you can see the 500,000 Rand lump sum taken this year and the tax due on that 180,000 Rand. What if we reverse these amounts and say that the taxpayer received a lump sum withdrawal of 500,000 Rand last year and received 1.2 million from his pension fund when he retired this year? Once again, we work out the tax on all the lump sums added together, but this time we use the retirement set of tables on the accumulative 1.7 million total. The tax is 364,500 Rand. From this, we have to subtract the tax on the 500,000 Rand lump sum taken last year using the same retirement set of tables. As this set of tables offers the first 500,000 Rand tax free, the tax on the withdrawal amount taken last year will be zero. Therefore, the tax on the 1.2 million amount taken this year will be 364,500 Rand less zero. Our superimposed auto summary screen shows the 1.2 million lump sum taken this year and there's the tax on that 364,500 Rand. One more example I'd like to show is where the taxpayer received a 300,000 Rand lump sum on retiring from his pension fund last year and then made a 200,000 Rand withdrawal from his provident fund this year. One would be mistaken in thinking that after receiving the 300,000 Rand retirement amount last year that our taxpayer was still entitled to another 200,000 Rand tax free in future. This would be true if the lump sum taken in future was also a retirement lump sum. Remember that the first 500,000 Rand tax-free only applies to retirement lump sums.